hi and welcome back to my channel today I will be doing week 46 in my project life album this is a spread from 2015 I have not started on 2016 as of yet just trying to finish up some of these spreads and with this spread I wanted to challenge myself to use some of my target dollar spot items on my project life layout so this first card you see this is that hello greeting card and I just cut the hello off and cut the card down to three by four size and these um, letters also come from the target dollar spot but these are really old this is what I have left of them and I just use those to label my week and I thought this was a perfect chance to try and use up my stash organize my space because this week I was cleaning up cleaning up my son's room and organizing getting rid of some old broken toys getting ready for Christmas stuff and this is just a picture of all of the trash bags that came out of his room <laughs> and I backed the sticker with that little um, sticky note and I'm going to use this memo pad this what you call it the list pad memo pad whatever it is I'm going to use this piece of paper for my journaling and I'm sorry that I'm kind of out of frame so you can't see the bottom and I'm gonna I couldn't find my corner rounder so I'm gonna just round those corners with some scissors and I'm mixing like the new and the old target dollar spot stuff just trying to use what I had I know what kind of matched my theme and these as you know these sticky notes aren't sticky so yet I kind of have to add a little extra bit of glue and I mean it's not a big deal when you're doing project life because you know you have to glue everything down anyway but there are hassle to use in your planner I don't know it's kind of defeats the purpose a sticky note that doesn't stick but I mean they're pretty and I'm just adding that enamel dot for a pop of color because everything was kind of gray everything was kind of blending in and for my journaling I'm just writing cleaning Isaiah's room and getting ready for Christmas toys and that little conversation bubble said oh snap I just thought that was a uh, nice to go with the all the trash bags <laughs> and this is a picture of everything or most of the stuff that I threw away I don't know because it's kind of emotional throwing his things away but I mean most of it is broken toys baby shoes that he can't fit I was just holding on to them why I don't know so I was just taking a picture and I have these things documented. You know, I just think it's a nice place at Project Life to document these kinds of things. Because, I mean, even though I can't save everything, I have that picture of it. I can always look back on it. And my note is just we, we threw out all the basic baby toys and shoes and Isaiah, he was glad for the extra space in his room because he was literally running out of space to play like with all all that broken stuff in there and this card I just uh, glued it down I didn't do too much to it I think I come back and add a sticker and now this little this picture this is one of the first toys that I bought my son I bought this when I was pregnant and I'm just right I'm gonna add some stickers that says keep because this is one of those things I don't think I will ever throw away. So I don't I don't know like how I'm going to keep it if I'll, if, what kind of box I'll do. I don't know, I'll figure something out. But I'm just putting keep on here and I layered that picture with a, one of those little pink sticky notes. And I was about to add that green sticky note to do my journaling but I just wrote it on the bottom. And I'm just writing the story about this giraffe and I'm just writing Jabari the giraffe will always be a keeper. And I didn't go too much into detail on in this layout because this toy is documented in my son's baby album. How this giraffe got his name, when we bought it, why we bought it. So I just wrote just very simple that this will always be a keeper. And I added some of those little page flags. And I was trying to, um, I was going back and thickening the text up. Sometimes when I write on pattern paper, it's hard to read. 
Oh, and I'm going back and I'm going to just add to this picture. I'm just going to write trash. That this was all of the things that I threw away. Alright, and this is just a picture of my son's room. How it looks all clean. And I'm going to layer it on top of this, this sticky note. And I don't know, this, this size sticky note actually worked great for layer, layering pictures. So I may add what I have left of these. I may add these to my Project Life uh, supplies because the size was nice. And these little flags, these are from the newer Dollar Spot items. And I'm just using those like right under the picture to make a little, a little banner. And I'm going back to those stickers and I, I really like these little stickers I think they should bring these back because I, I think I have like maybe two or three sheets left because I was running out so I went back and got more because these little stickers are perfect for project life and I just put on there after and then my journaling is pretty simple I'm just gonna write all clean and ready for more, more toys because I have I have plenty of pictures documenting his room well, throughout the year, I have plenty of pictures, but I want to get these pictures in here because we may be changing his room up soon. So before we change it, you know, I have it documented, documented in the book. I'm sorry I'm getting tongue-tied. All right, and this picture, I know you cannot tell what is on this picture. This is very hard to see what is going on. This is a picture of my son's closet. Yes, the, the dreaded closet. Like all of his baby things, I just threw in this closet. It has everything in here from his bassinet. It has all of his premature clothes. And I don't know, I've had a hard time cleaning this closet out. So, you know, every time I open the door, I get overwhelmed and I just close it back. But I mean, there's his baby bathtub, his blankets, all the premature clothes. So I, I just put, I have been dreading cleaning this closet and I still haven't got around to it. So maybe with the new year, I'll get all organized and finally clean this closet out. And my journaling says, just says, I have been dreading cleaning this closet for a while. And then I wrote that it is just packed with so many emotions. And it is, I guess that's why I just keep the door closed. <laughs> So I guess that'll be one of my New Year's things to get this closet cleaned out. And then I just go back and add a sticker, that little sticker, lots of love. And that picture, it's just a simple picture of my son's, all his little favorite stuffed animals. And I'm adding some extra glue on the edges of these because the paper is kind of thin. So a few, of up, a few of them curled up. But this was my layout for this week. I hope you enjoyed this process.